And here we're going to take a, another interesting look at sound intensity and how it changes over distance. So let's say we're at a, uh, here's a sound source, it puts out sound, we don't know how much sound, what the, the power of the source is, but let's say that you are listening at a distance of 10 meters and 10 meters away the intensity is 80 decibels. Well, what would it sound like to a person who's much further away, let's say the distance is 1,000 meters, what would the sound intensity be for a person 10 times, no, not 10 times, but 100 times as far away? Well, it turns out that the sound intensity decreases proportionally to the inverse of the distance squared, and actually this two should be over here, not down, it's a superscript, not a subscript. So what that means is that if uh, you go 10 times as far away, since the intensity is proportional to 1 over the distance squared, 10 times as far away, you square 10, that gives you 100, it should only be 1 100 as loud in intensity. So the way that works is if you're now 100 times as far away, so that it's, uh, the distance is now 100 times farther, you square that, that would be equal to 10,000. So what we're doing here is we're taking the ratio of 1,000 meters divided by 10 meters, and we have to take that ratio and we have to square that. So that gives us a ratio of 100. We square that, we get 10,000, which means 100 times as far away, the sound will only be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 10,000 as loud as what you would hear here. So whatever the intensity is here, so let's call it intensity at 10 meters. That means that the intensity at 1,000 meters, I'll just put a, a meters there, okay? Uh, that is equal to 1 over 100 squared times the intensity at 10 meters. And so that would be 1 over 10,000 times as much as the intensity at 10 meters. So since the intensity at 10 meters was, uh, where were we? Uh, 80 decibels. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I lost my 80 decibels. So since the intensity is 80 decibels, 80 decibels is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. So now we're 100 times as far away, because 1,000 meters is 100 times as far as 10 meters, then the sound intensity will only be 1 10,000 as much. So that means that the intensity at 1,000 meters is equal to 1 over 10,000 times the intensity at 10 meters, which is equal to 1 over 10,000 times the intensity at 10 meters is 1 times 10 to the minus 4 uh, meters or watts per square meter. Mm, not meters per square watts, that doesn't work. Uh, watts per square meter. And so this is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per square meter. And of course, for every factor of 10, you decrease the intensity by 10 decibels. That would be 10, 10, 10, 10, 40 decibels less. That would be 40 decibels. So if the intensity here is 80 decibels at 10 meters, then 100 times as far away, the intensity here would be uh, equal to uh, 40 decibels. And so that gives you a pretty good idea of how intensity fades over distance. Now let's say that as a quick example, see if we can follow the, the, uh, this logic here. What if another person stands even farther away and that person now stands at a distance of 10,000 meters? So the distance now is equal to 10,000 meters for a third observer. Hmm, what would the sound intensity be there? Well, again, we get the ratio. So it would be 10,000 divided by 10 meters. That's a ratio of 1,000 to 1. If we then square that ratio, we get a million, which means that the intensity at 10,000 meters would be one millionth the intensity at 10 meters. Hmm. So because it's a thousand times as far away, a thousand squared is a million, so that means that we have to divide the intensity here by a million to, the, to get the intensity at 10,000 meters. So the intensity at 10,000 meters is equal to one millionth Remember, it's proportional to 1 over the distance squared, so we take 1 over 1,000 times as far squared, that's a million, times the intensity at uh, 10 meters, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. 
a million goes into there, that would be equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 10 watts per square meter, and that's equal to 20 decibels. So see, that's how we figure out how the sound intensity fades as you go further and further out. Hopefully that helps.